So Loki is such a fantastic character, and you've been a very bad boy, haven't you? Yes, <laughs> in, honest, in, in honest terms. Yeah, I tried to take over the world in Avengers. It didn't work. You know, this, these, uh, these superheroes that they have kind of make it difficult to do that. Um, and, um, and then Loki gets locked in, in, in the dungeons of Asgard for his crimes. Um, he's kind of resentful about it, but he's also kind of cut loose. So he's indulging his darkest instincts by now. I don't think he's, I don't think he's repentant just yet. Literally, he's buried deep in the darkest recesses of Asgard, in, the, in a dungeon, um, uh, unthought of, unseen, and forgotten. And when you're, when you're written out of life like that, when you're written out of history, and your family have no interest in who you are, your, your people who used to be your friends, you, may, you, you sort of sat there in your cell, you've got a lot of time to think. So I'd say he was, if he's not there yet, he's on his way down. Well, um, you know, Chris is, I've had the best time with him. He's, he's amazing. He's, he wanted to be here today, but he's um, shooting a movie in Hong Kong. He said, uh, he said, that he, he said last night, he said, uh, Hammer's in the workshop, mate. No, he's having a tune up, no transport. Um, so, uh, no, it was great. Um, and, you know, we, he and I have, a, have a, we have a really good time together, whatever we're doing. Um, it's really fun working with him. And, and uh, in the, at the beginning of the first film, we, we, we're teamed up. So in, in a way, it was like a kind of, it was, it was like a coda of all the, of, of, you know, we've gone a long way around the houses to come home in a way. And I think the thing that um, we all found so encouraging about the response to the first film is that people loved Asgard. People really wanted to see more of it. And, and, uh, and so that's, that's what we've done. Alan Taylor, you know, his, 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 um, his pitch, his remit, his passion was, was to open the film up so that you didn't just see the palaces and where, where the king and the queen lived and the princes, you see the entire universe. You see, um, you know, the rest of the citadel. You see more of like where kind of, as it were, normal people live in Asgard. And, and also, now that we've introduced into the mythology the, the fact that there are nine realms in the universe, there's Midgard, which is Earth, Jotunheim, where the frost giants are, Asgard, and then Svartalheim, which is, um, the, literally means the dark world in ancient Norse languages or whatever and hell so you just get a sense of the scale of this, the universe that these characters inhabit and i think that's really exciting it just gives every, it gives it a depth and a texture and and um, an epic scale that you haven't seen yet if you like this video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our amc movie news youtube channel it's free and we bring you all the latest movie news as well as our daily amc movie talk show you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter, where you can find out about all the latest prizes, giveaways, and special contests.